Hello everyone. So we're having some problem with this um, mold and kitchen faucets lately. As you can see, they have the little dripping problem from this area. It's actually that worse if you uh, try to use it. So we're gonna see how to fix it. Uh, as usual, there is a valve or what they call the cottage inside here. My suspicion is probably some gasket or whatever is wear out or debris or something loose. I don't know. We'll find out when we open it up. Uh, so first thing first, obviously, uh, you need to turn off all the valve, cold water. And the hot water. You can release the pressure. All right, so I got online to uh, try to figure out which uh, more and faster that I have. As it turned out, is the Annabelle series, which is already discontinued, I believe. Um, there's two models. Um, I'm not 100% sure which one I have, but they look very similar, except the, the parts kits are obviously different. So um, once I'm opening it up, I'm pretty sure I can positively identify it. Um, looks like all I need to do is just to uh, loosen this set screw. I'll be able to remove the handle and get all the way to the cartridge and see uh, if anything is need to be replaced or clean. So um, based on the diagram, I uh, prepared some tool, the hex key and some screwdriver if I need to pry anything out. Uh, we definitely need a, a palm plier to unscrew some of the nuts and bolts and uh, a wrench. All right, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so I got the hex key. Oh, a little bit tricky to get into it. Okay. It's working. Hmm. All right, I got it out. That's the set screw inside. I'm just gonna leave it in it. I don't want to lose it. All right. I should be able to just pop this guy out. Let me see. Here we go. Seems okay here. So I'm going to lift this in here. Although maybe... Yeah, just leave it in here for now. So I have to use the Palmer plier to remove this bolt in here. Wow. Hmm. This thing feels loose. Shouldn't be that loose. Seems to be fine. I don't see any damage or any debris, but it's kind of feel loose. And that's the cartridge. Okay, so this is the one two five five type. Right, it also looks good. I don't see any problem. Hot cold water. Seems to be fine. Well. I don't seem to see any problem, so the only thing is actually this this uh, hold down nuts in here is actually seems to be loose, feel loose actually. I don't see any. Let's take a look at this. So looking inside, I don't see any problem. 
We're clean actually, it's good. And no visible damage and no gasket. The design is actually very clean. Um, you can't open this guy. So uh, the only thing that I feel could be a problem is this guy's kind of loose when I try to open it. It didn't take me any effort to uh, unscrew it. So let's uh, put this back in and I'm going to do a quick test. You know, turn on the water and see if they uh, actually help. Right before I tighten the nut, I want to put it back in. So you notice there's some groove line in here, here, and you probably can't see it right up there. They actually align with this uh, notches in here. One, two, three. So you have to put it back in right, and it should slide back in. Yeah. And then all you need to do. Put this back in. All right, I feel like that is very tight. Uh, pretty much I just hand tied it and uh, give it like a one turn Something like that. So what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go turn on the the cold water uh, Well, I'm under the sink and see what happened in here Okay, so I have the cold water well turned on so it should be pressurized right now The good news is I don't see any dripping. Uh, let's see I don't know. Yeah, seems good. Definitely not as dripping like crazy as earlier. All right, I'm gonna put back everything and uh, do a little bit more tests. All right, first thing first. The notch, notch in here actually match these two white pieces in here. So. That should be it. And the handle. Now, the trick to get this handle is put your hex key into it first. So, see your hex key is in it already. Alright, so. That should go in this way. Oop. Gotta rotate it, I guess. Hmm. Oh, I got it. You actually has to keep it in the on position. So I need to turn off the well first. All right, I turn off the cold water. Gotta put this back in again. No, make sure the hex key is in this guy. Rotate it until you see it. There we go, slide back in. Put the hex key down, turn it into it. Okay, that's very solid. All right, so I have the hot water and the cold water well turned on. Um, looking good. Definitely no more dripping and all this crazy water running down. So I think it's an easy fix for me. It's just a uh, loose uh, hold down nut for the cartridge. Uh, with that tightened, all is good. So um, just in case you guys need it, um, I will put the link 
of the diagram uh, in the detailed page of this video um, so you can uh, reference to it if you want to um, it, all in all it's a very easy fix um, if I would know it probably only gonna take me five minutes to get all this you know repair it I should have get it done long ago all right guys this should be it for this video uh, as usual thank you for watching please like subscribe and uh, do leave me some comment I'd like to hear from you I'll definitely post some more interesting video in the future. Thanks again. See you next time.